um, doing a review for Screen 3. Now this one, same plot line, just a different killer. Um, this is after Sydney's college and stuff like that. And I have it here. And I'm going to read the back. While Sydney lives in a safely guarded seclusion, bodies begin dropping around the Hollywood set of Stab 3. The latest movie, based on the terror, finally brings Sydney out of hiding drawing her and the other survivors once again into an insidious game of horror movie mayhem that's suspenseful, clever, and very entertaining. Now this movie is there or at a party at this guy's house and, they, and bodies start dropping and everything. And they also find out later on in the movie why well, Sydney finds out later on in the movie why her mother got killed and who the real killer of her mother was and everything. I didn't really like Scream 3 that much. I thought it was okay. But I still liked it since it was part of the trilogy. And I felt bad for Cotton because he died in it. I wish they didn't kill him off, but... Sydney's still fighting for her life in this fantastic um, tro uh, sequel in the Scream franchise and she finally finds out who killed her mother and why and that answers everything that answers the questions that she's had of course and hopefully she can let go and stuff and finally move on when she thinks everything's over and she can finally go live her life and not have to worry about anything thank god but this has Nave Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette in it they survived the copycat killer and they also survived this killer. So, that is good. And very, very good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review. This was my review on Scream 3. I don't have much to say because, you know, I didn't think it was really that good of a movie. It was, like, okay to me. Um... But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like what you see, comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that little bell beside the subscribe button to get notified when I post more videos. I love you guys. Peace.